This is the new Ulanzi GP5 GoPro selfie flip screen. Now this is designed for the GoPro's Heroes 5, 6, 7 and 8. Finally, they have come out with a product that allows you to see yourself as you're filming. All the previous cases for Ulanzi, they were great cases, but they still lacked one simple function, which was the ability to see yourself. The only way you were able to do that is if you got a external display screen like this and you attach that to your whole tripod setup. That is just impractical. You do not want to do that. The whole point of a GoPro is to be able to film on the go using something lightweight, portable and extremely sturdy to be able to film in outdoor situations. In this case, what they have come out with is this little reflective flip up screen. It's basically a mirror built into a little tripod. Usually, this is the kind of um, equipment that I would use. I've gone from the first Ulanzi V2 to the V2 Pro and then now the V3. I've also gone with the V3 Pro as well, but I decided that I like the V3 better than the V3 Pro. And basically the only difference is that the microphone adapter is placed on top. So as you can see here, this is the V3 Pro. Ulanzi have made a full range of uh, products for the GoPro. Now I'm not sponsored by this, so I wanted to do a genuine and honest review on the products. This review is all about the Ulanzi GP5 GoPro selfie flip up screen. And this is it right here. You have a mount for your GoPro and then you also have the typical two bar mount for your GoPro mount as well. You've also got a mic adapter compartment and you've also got three cold shoes to mount whatever accessories you need to. It's a pretty cool accessory when you think about it. This is designed for the factory case, which is this here. You are not able to use a V2 on it because it stands up a bit too far and you're unable to see the reflection of the screen when you mount it. So this is designed for the standard case that comes with your GoPro. Let's put this all together so I can show you guys how it all comes together. First thing we'll do is we'll loosen everything and then we will mount our case. We need the back facing towards the screen. So that's in now. We will mount it in. So we'll turn this in and then we will put our GoPro in. Open that up. But we'll drop our GoPro Hero 7 in like so. Close that up, clamp it closed. Next, we have our mic adapter. We look at which side the mic adapter is on. We push our mic adapter in, mount our microphone in like so. So that's basically how this all comes together. You use your standard case that comes with your GoPro. You just mount that together and then you add your mic adapter. Then you add your microphone. There are a few different microphones you can use for the GoPro, but I have gone with the Saramonic XM1. This is a great little microphone for GoPro shooting because it is so lightweight and versatile and you know, you're able to position it any way you want without having to unscrew it or anything like that. You can simply turn it around or just bend it in the direction that you want it. It does pick up pretty good audio. This is pretty much how it all comes together. All you would have to do now is get your typical GoPro three bar mount and then mount it to the bottom. And you can mount this to a tripod or a stand or whatever you decide to choose. This is the whole GoPro setup put together. I'm going to turn it on right now and you can see the reflection in the back there. That's pretty much how you'll be looking and there is your reflection right there. It's basically just a mirror image of what you are seeing. It's blurry at the moment, but if I come in a bit, you can see that that's exactly what you're going to see. So, you know, it's a decent picture. It's not the best picture, but you get the idea. You really do get to see what you're filming. That is the advantage of having this Ulanzi setup so that you can see exactly what's in your field of view rather than guessing all the time or having to use something like this here, which is a massive display. I know you can get smaller displays like four inches and so forth, or you can use something like your mobile phone, which is a lot lighter, but it's just the hassle of having to use an extra device to film with. When you can use something like this and gives you a clear view of what you're shooting at the same time. I really do have to hand it to Ulanzi again. They have come out with a lot of good GoPro products for the Heroes 5, 6, 7 and 8. That is the setup for the Ulanzi GP5 GoPro selfie flip up screen. I really wanted to show you this guys because um, it's definitely something that you need to have in your GoPro arsenal if you are a GoPro user. Especially if you are a selfie vlogger. 
someone that likes to film themselves a lot then this is definitely something that you uh, need to consider it's a very cheap item as well you can get it for about you know 20 25 to 30 dollars depending where you buy it from i bought mine from ebay and um i believe i paid about 26 dollars um i'll show you guys the listing in the top corner right now that's it right there i bought this from china it came very quick even though uh, with the slow shipping with the pandemic that's happening at the moment this item came really quick and um i have to say that i am very happy with this item um, i'm not always checking my footy whether or not i have everything that i want in the frame i also just wanted to share a couple other products this is probably the best product for the gopro heroes 5 6 and 7 i do believe they have one for the 8 as well except it's just called something else it is a all metal case for the gopro heroes 5 6 and 7 they finally came out with the all metal case for the gopro the best thing is that they have made the compartment still for the uh, mic adapter better yet they have a 52 mil changeable lens a cold shoe up the top and also have a cold shoe mount on the side as well so you can have one for your microphone and you can also have one for your led light source if you need to add any other items you also have a couple of quarter inch screws here on the side so that you can add a couple more items if you want as well you've also got a guide for your mic adapter to go into that way when you plug in your mic adapter you don't have to worry about it uh, falling off and unclipping all the time if you're filming in a situation where the the gopro is shaking a lot sometimes the mic adapter cable that plugs into the gopro can disconnect due to vibration but with this new case uh, ulanzi have really nailed it they have made a case that is definitely up there with one of the best and I'm not just saying that this is my honest opinion. The only con with this case is that it's heavy compared to, say, the its predecessor, the V2. If you want a case that is sturdy, built to last, portable, still lightweight to a certain extent, then you can't go past the Ulanzi V3. It is a great case for all GoPro users. These are the cases that you're going to want to get in order to complete your arsenal. That way, you have... A case for every situation you have cases that will accompany your needs when you're filming there out on the go there is another case out there called the vlog and selfie vl01 i believe the brand is equal but i also believe that there are a few other manufacturers out there that have uh, made a different brand name i personally went for this case because one it was a lot cheaper two ulanzi have made a lot of good products recently when it comes to cases for the GoPro, Heroes 5, 6 and 7 and even the 8, I like to stick with what I know and what I know works. Ulanzi or Ulanzi, however you want to pronounce it, are definitely in the lead when it comes to making GoPro cases and accessories. I really wanted to just share this with you guys so you guys are aware of some of the things that you can buy for the GoPro. Things that will definitely make shooting a lot easier, making your life easier as well. I just wanted to do this quick review to show you guys the new product by Ulanzi, the GP5 GoPro Selfie Flip Up Screen. It's definitely something that you want in your GoPro accessory bag. You can't go wrong getting an extra add-on like this for your GoPro. And you know what? Honestly, it takes away the hassle of getting any other case so just say you wanted to film without the gopro but you didn't want to detach it you could simply just unplug the mic adapter unscrew your second tightener and then flip it all the way down like so and then re-tighten it back up like so and plug back in your mic adapter like so and then you can film in front of you without having to use the external mirror. Just like that. See? So when you think about it, this GoPro case is very versatile. You can use it in many different ways when it comes to shooting with the GoPro. And it really does come in handy being able to shoot in front of you and then being able to shoot yourself as well to go from selfie to normal shooting you could simply just flip up your screen and you'd be able to see yourself instantly just like that the product basically speaks for itself okay, and that brings us to the end of the video guys so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please smash that like button and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time guys this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off the 
Ulanzi GP5 GoPro selfie flip up screen. For the GoPros Heroes 5, 6, 7 and 8.